Thomas Wright. Excuse me for being out of breath. <coughs> they had these big semis with big square containers of foam that they were dumping in here like, uh, I'm not sure what you look like, big things of detergent. Can't tell you what it was. I, I just know they did a lot of it and they kept everybody away and they were being real secretive when they did it. And they dump a lot of it, they dump semi holes of it in. So I don't. Was it at nighttime? Yeah. And they do it, you know, toward the evenings. So they were doing Early it later when it gets dark or when it's... And they just, but they didn't have really nobody to bother them because they had this, this road was completely blocked off. They couldn't drive. You couldn't drive from that bridge to this bridge. You had to go around some other way. And then they were raking up that ground and putting that fake grass with shit over it where the oil stuff was on the sides and stuff. So you saw them cover up oil? All, all along that shoreline, all the way down. What did you see them do? They just take like, Kate, like put more grass and dirt over it and re replanted grass seed over it. Tonight, our I team takes on accusations of an Embridge cover up. Last July, a pipeline owned by Embridge ruptured in Marshall, sending hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil into West Michigan's waterways. Now, a former Embridge employee is blowing the whistle on the company, accusing it of covering up oil. One former worker is doing everything possible to get his story out there. Ugh. This is all oil. It is all oil. This is not mud. Mud will freeze. No, that is not oil. That, that's sediment. It's mud. That's what he's standing in is mud. See it coming up? It's under the sand. It's not in the sand, it's under the sand that they put there. So I stayed down here and... Uh, so you never evacuated? Never evacuated and puked in a bucket for the first three weeks. They told me to close my windows. They brought me an air breather and told me to close it off and just breathe the air that was inside my house and not to get any other fresh air that was coming from outside. And I had a film like this inside everything in my home that was like a gluey film. That was just, it took forever to get, I don't think I ever got rid of well, it. Well, this stuff floats through the air and it's sticky. And it's like tar in a way. You know how you have tar stick from smoking. It'll stick uh, on the ceiling and stuff at people's houses that smoke. Well, this is the same thing. These chemicals are, are just like that. And they get in your lungs and they stick. Yeah, I can't, I can't breathe no more. It's, it's a lot worse than it's ever been. I mean, in the last, like I said, in the last three years, I've lost 50 pounds, 22 teeth. And my, uh, you ask anybody, I don't go anywhere, do nothing. I just don't have the energy. And I got sick. I got deathly ill. I had to go to the doctors over this shit and everything. I mean, my bees don't grow good anymore. My garden doesn't grow worse shit anymore. Um, Why don't we go down to the river? The river's just, you know, nobody uses the river anymore. May, our mail lady right now, she ha is in like fourth stage cancer and she lives on Winter Street right on the river, right across the river. Well, and tell me about what the smell was like after the spell. Oh my God, you couldn't smell. You couldn't come out of your house, you'd puke. I puked in a bucket for like three weeks. You just died, it literally died. It just, there was nowhere to go. I didn't have the money to go anywhere. Everything was sick. My dogs were sick. My dog, my other dog died. A lot of animals. I've seen more dead birds, geese. All the animals around here were sickly for a long time. And What do you think about Battle Creek and Choir never reporting about the cover-up? Well, because they're, they're getting kickback from the EPA or somebody. They're, they're all in cahoots. Well, Enbridge buys big full-page ads. So what do you think about that? Well, they're, they're being... They've been taken care of, is all I can say. Everybody knows it. It's not a secret. Everybody knows what? That the, the, that the newspapers will, works for them. Work, you know, is getting paid off by them or something. Everybody knows that. Everybody talks about it. You can't... The city is being taken care of over it. The city hasn't even put up much of a fight over it. And they told me to eat shit and die. Who did? Emberish. They came down here and talked to me, different different guys and stuff and different people, and they, they were kind of being pretty threatening. They had different guys at different times, and they're big in like their own goon squads and stuff. They so 
You they felt were... threatened by Embers? Oh yeah. Well, tell me why. Because they were like, they didn't want you to be down here on the river. They wanted you to stay in your house and don't come outside. Don't, don't be coming down by. You know, when they were doing all that, they didn't want. They didn't like to be seen coming up down here. They didn't like being watched while they were supposedly working on this. Oh, there's one right there. You really can't see it. There's a big old tumor. Yeah. Right there's a tumor. He's got little ones on his body now, but so he's got several he's little got ones. Several little ones on his shoulders, and they're not really got that big yet. But he never had them before. Before the oil spill? Never had them before the oil spill. Plus, he went blind in the last three years. Come on, stop he went it. blind. A lot of Wait. see the thing is, these chemicals cause blindness. You go well, Bruce, he used you could keep him out of the river, boy. He loved to go swimming. He'd even go chase the fish. Uh, he just loved it. I mean, you couldn't keep him out of the river. He lived for the river. Now he, he won't even step in the river. Hey, I mean, he'll he'll smell it. He'll lick it. And he'll get out. Of, he won't have nothing to do with it. He's like he knows there's something wrong with that river. And I, I and I believe that an animal can sense that better than a person can. Because I don't see him going in the river anymore. And that, he lived for it. And they're not. I mean, she's poor old thing. Just right out of the blue, just one morning she was deathly ill. It was during a holiday. I called the people for the vet and they said they wouldn't have anybody in there. So I had to wait till the weekend was up and she expired before the weekend was up with me. And I have her buried out here in the yard. But well, not supposed to do that, but I buried her so I could be with her. But uh, it was just really strange because she just... I can't, I just don't know why she passed away like that. I've had them. A lot of animals passed away after the spell uh, yeah, a year there's or a lot, two I've later. Seen, I found a lot of dead animals down here after that too, but there's nothing, you know, I, I told them about it. I asked the city about it. I said, they have everybody to make look good down at Kellogg's and stuff, cleaning and doing the ducks and stuff and this and that. But there's not one person that came down here to help the animals down here, you know what I mean? Right. Between our river, this mile stretch. And we're 17, almost 18 Angel. miles away. Yeah. I just can't believe the way they treated me and made me feel threatened and bring the, like, the big goon squad guys down here because I was calling and complaining to them. Because, like, I mean, I, I would have been dumb just like the other people and probably would have took that $1,000 and rolled off and been fine with it. But when I went down there to talk to them, they told me to get a lawyer. And I said, well, shoot, I only live 100 feet from the river. And, and they told me to eat shit and die and get a get a lawyer that's exactly what they did do you think that they mistreated you because you don't have a lot of money oh of course and you didn't get anything nothing wow they did you wrong I I, I just go to my doctor and I told them about it. they said they they just know that I'm, I'm on three three breathers I probably have to go to uh, something stronger eventually but I don't know I'm on I'm on some awful strong stuff right now for me to keep my lungs working so it's pretty sad, truthfully, and it's something I don't like to talk about because I don't, I don't. It's like the rich people down here that had animals and things, and they all got their dogs put into places to be taken care of, housed, and got put up for their home, got taken their families put up. And the people that didn't have a lot of money, they just told them to go to Tent City or, and or your dogs just had, they wouldn't do anything for mine, nothing. And what was going on with your dogs? They were sick like I was been sick puking because of that smell off the river. I mean this was bad. I hard I hardly explain it. it was so bad. It was it was you could not man, I don't even know how I I'm I mean it is it's like three weeks of just puking in a buck and migraine headaches and sick as a dog just like a dog you couldn't eat. It was just nasty. Just kept had to keep everything in the house closed up and trying to like burn incense and stuff to try to kill the smell. And, but it just went right through your house. It didn't matter. You could just, it just, hell, they were smelling it all the way up to the other side of, like a mile away. So, and the people were having complaining about headaches and stuff. What do you think the guys that lived 100 feet from it did? We were puking in buckets. What do you think about what I've been doing? Well, I'm hopeful. I'm, I'm glad that you whistleblowed on them. I'm thinking that they, they should really, more should be done about it. I, 
there I'm glad something got done because you are a lot less would have been done but I don't know they got so much money how can you fight against the if somebody's got so much more money and the lawyers don't even seem to want to fight them because they just it just they buy them off they buy off the city people they buy the off inquire news they buy everyone <laughs>